uh, another test. Okay, today. Yesterday we had one, you scored 100 out of 100. Very fine. Congratulations. Now here again, you, you can have an advanced congratulations from me for you are going to score today also 100 out of 100. Now, what is our test today? Our test today is, as you can see, test 2. These are all these things that I have written on the board, these words. You know what are they? They are nouns, yes. Some of these nouns are countable and some of these nouns are uncountable. So you have to find out, you have to tell me which one is countable and which one is uncountable. Okay, so let us start here. If, if what you say is correct, I will put a tick. If what you say is wrong, then I will put an int. Okay. Let's say that you won't make me, you won't allow me to put uh, an into. Instead, all the words you will have uh, uh, tick marks. Okay. Let's begin here. Right there. Actor. Is countable or uncountable? That is countable. Because you can see now, one actor, two actor, three actor, and also if there's not a board, what is the board? Actress. So that is correct. Look at the second one, orange. What we say, Andy. Is it countable or uncountable? Countable. So you can put C here. Here also put C. See that correct. Baby. What about baby? One baby, two baby, three baby, like that. Yes. And it has four also, babies. You have got the ideas for the rest. Right, so that is C. Count Baker, those people who make biscuits, uh, bread and all those things. No? What you got on there called bakers. So there also is counter, isn't it? Yes. Coffee. Can you count coffee? One coffee, two coffee, three coffee, like that. It's not possible. Therefore, it is uncountable. You see. You see means uncountable. Okay. Now cook. You are saying cooks, no? One cook, two cook, three cook, you can count. And therefore it is countable. Okay, right. Like very good. Doctor? Simple. You can count. You can see many doctors in a hospital. If you go to a hospital, you find many doctors. Dentist. You must have gone at least five times to your dentist. Thus, you have tooth pain and things and uh, connected things. Okay. Then what about iron? Can you count iron? You cannot count iron. No? And therefore it is UC. UC means what? Uncountable. Okay. Giant. You can count. Isn't it? Jack, the giant killer. We have heard that name. Uh, the story, no? So that is giant. You can count. And therefore countable. Blood. What do you say? Blood. Can you count? One blood. Two blood. Three blood. Not possible. And therefore we have got a UC. You put UC. UC means uncountable. Man, you can count. If you go outside, you will find many men. You know what is the plural of men? Men. That is special plural. Alright, that is correct. Nice. Go to hospital, you will find all those, those angel like people moving around like this softly with the, in their hands some syringe or something they carry with them medicine and, and other things connected with your illness. So they are countless, isn't it? Yes. Dust. Can you count dust? For example, how many dusts are there? It's no, you cannot count it again. This is like this. You see. You see means uncountable. Hmm? Gold. Can you count gold? No. It's not possible. All the metals you cannot count. So gold is a metal. And therefore it is uncountable. Correct? Jam. You have seen jam. Kisan jam you have seen. Photomans jam you have seen. In, in, the, in a bottle. Can you count that? Take one and like biscuits. But if you got to get a packet of biscuit, you can count it. But this you cannot then count. So that is you see. So that is uncountable. Teacher, what in this school, how many teachers are I am a teacher? The next person is a teacher, and then after some other teacher will come. So these are countable. So you are right now you are getting 100 out of 100. Okay, literally. Milk, can you count milk? No. As I am showing you earlier, you cannot count milk. Why can't you count on milk? You cannot take milk and say this is one milk, this is two milk, like that. It's not possible. And therefore it is, you see. Bird, you can count any number of birds are there. 
You can see when you look up, you in the tree you will find some some birds through the window. Come inside the inside the classroom, you will say shh, like that. Simply. So that is you can count, no problem. So that is comfortable. So you are almost reaching hundred out of hundred. Now if you more birds get ready, water, and you will count. No, you cannot count. What you cannot do, mouse. What is the total of mouse? Mice. I told you another thing. Remember when you are thinking about mouse? Mouse of your computer, the plural is mouses. No, mice also you can say, but it is better to say mouses. Okay, that is count. Right? Fish. Can we count? One fish, two fish, three fish, four fish. Yes, definitely. Therefore, it is countable. Okay. Church. Can you, can you count church? Definitely. You can see one church here in the city itself, there are seven churches. So you can see Saint Dominus Church, you can see Saint Joseph's Church, Lord of Churches even. So that can be counted. Okay? So you are getting 100 out of 100. Rice? You are like, uh, rice can you count rice? No. You cannot take your line count rice, it's impossible. So you see that is uncountable. Hotel? Many hotels in this town in fact. You have got Deluxe Hotel, you have got the Kana Hotel, you have got the um, mission, Missions Hostel, a lot of hotel, hotels are there, so you can count it, count them, okay. Then sugar, can you count? Not possible. Like rice, you cannot count sugar, you, but you can eat it, no? you like eating sugar, no? yes. You cannot count, but certain things you can eat and drink, but you cannot count. Like milk for example, so this is uncountable, you see, okay. House can count as near place, how many houses are there? Isn't it? Your neighbors and your enemies, do you have enemies? No, I don't think you have enemies. They are all very nice people, so you have no enemies at all. Okay, so that is common, right? Now only one more lap, last lap, we are going to reach the finishing point. By the time you reach the finishing point, you are going to get 100 out of 100. Yes. So you have got spoon, countable? Yes, countable. You can have zoo. You can count. Is it countable powder? Is it possible? No. So it is you see. Uncountable water, you see. Uncountable market, you can count. So countable oil, you cannot count. Is it uncountable butter, you cannot count. Uncountable count. Uncountable bag, you can count. See, is it salt, you cannot count. So you see. You cannot count like sugar, you cannot count salt. Box you can count, how many boxes are there? Countable noun. Pot you can count, how many pots will be there in your house? Many. Arrow you can count. Bahubali is one. Bahubali is one. Arrow is one after another. Yes. So that is uh, countable. Computer. How many computers are there in this school? So you can count. So that is countable. Wood. Wood. Can you count wood? It's not possible. It's a block line. So you can. You cannot. But, yes, so that is uncountable. Meat, you cannot count. One meat, two meat, like that. But you can count pieces. When you make it pieces, you can count. Otherwise, you cannot count. Okay, so that is uh, uh, count, uncountable. Okay, sand. Uncountable sand. No. So sand, uh, uncountable, you see. Correct. Rain, uncountable. You cannot do one rain, two rain. Soup, uncountable, isn't it? Soup like a milk in a glass or cup, plate, you can count. So, we have raised, we have done all these words. Now I know that, I know, you are sure what you mean by countable, what is meant by uncountable. I think you know it very well now. You are perfect, you are right. So, this time also, you are getting 100 out of 100. 100 out of 100. Very good. So you are all very intelligent students, very clever students, very smart students, very handsome students and beautiful girls. So very nice. You, know, you are doing very well. Our English studies progressing very well. Isn't it? So I congratulate you. Congratulate you each and every one of you for scoring all the hundred marks for this test. So we will also continue doing that in our nasty test also. 
Tumana Vira another dust entered him come, Tumana's test will be for plurals and singulars. So how to make singular, how to make plural from singular, how to make it singular from plural. Because so, there are some very interesting words now. They make their plural in one way after many changes. So if we have to have a singular from plural, then you have to make all those reverse changes, isn't it? So just as you drive and you drive your car, sometimes you have to take it back. So that is called the reverse. So let us see what are we going to do. Now, it's very interesting. Uh, I was to tell you the other day, you were studying plurals. There are some words in English. There are some words in English. Yes. There are some <laughs> words in English usually used only in plural. So you can have, uh, say like that, only plurals. Plurals only. Which are, which are those words? First one I'll tell you, I have it with me. See this one. Glasses. Or you say spectacles. Glasses is it? one, two. Or you, uh, another word for this is spectacles. Now, you cannot, suppose one is taken away, you cannot, you have to look like this. You know. That's very funny, it will look very funny. So, whenever you say spectacles, that is always true. Or glasses, you say. Either you can say spectacles. Spectacles. It's better you study, you learn this word, huh? spectacles. Or you can say glasses. Glasses. So glass sometimes what happens is, the drinking glass also you may think. But not that when is a plural, only this one. Understand? Another word is very interesting. I have it with me. By I bought it for some other purpose, but it is now with me. This one. Look at this. What do you call this? Scissors. Because it has got two parts. If you take one part, and you have only one part with you, you cannot do anything with this. Therefore, you cannot Call it, call it scissors. Understand? So the second word used as plural is scissors. Because just now I told you they have got two parts. If you have only one part, you cannot do. Like that, you have got another word binoculars. 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 You have seen those two things like this. You look. Far away things you can see, distant things you can see very close if you look at that clearly. You, you must have seen now. Maybe you will you may have one that is expected bang of this. And the fourth one is Googles. You can see all these things are two parts. If one is taken out, it becomes useless. That's why we say they have to be always Open up as one. But there are two. And there are only two parts. There are only two parts. Say glasses. Scissors are just now. Binoculars are sure. Binoculars. Isn't it? And Googles. Then another instrument we have seen. Electricians sometimes stay with them. Pliers. 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 Yes, you know. Pliers. Isn't it? Pliers. There is something like this. And then you they take some clearing wire and cleaning things and so on, they use it. So that's called pliers. That also has got two parts. If one part is taken, then other part is become useless. Understand? Other things you use in plural, always in plural, they have something to do with your dress. Say jeans. Say jeans, you know. Trousers. 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 You also said pants because they are two legs. 
there is only one leg you cannot use it. So imagine you are somebody is using coming to the class with the one leg and the, the other is bare. How terrible it will be, isn't it? It will not be. Yes. So you have got trousers, then you have jeans and you have got uh, shorts. Shorts. Short. Some people say short pants, isn't it? Then uh, leggings. 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 You have seen of those very tight things that uh, some sometimes women and sometimes men also. Boys also now these days they start wearing these things. Now these things are always clothes. And uh, some of this usually these are always bold, some others are there, they are usually spoiled. For example, shoes, there are two, slippers, better to use plurals. Understand? Shoes, slippers, gloves. You have seen doctors using gloves when you are examining, yes, examining patients and chopsticks. Just opposite. You have heard of Chinese people, no? how do they eat? They eat with the sticks. Japanese people, there are two sticks like this. Then they use the stick to hold something that they eat. Then that will play. Then uh, the thing that you want to eat will get into your mouth. Understand? Here we are going to use it. That's chopsticks. So you don't worry. It's chopsticks you don't worry because we are not using it. But in case after some time, after taking your degree, you are getting qualified here to go to Japan or China, then you can think of this class. And I told you, a teacher told us that uh, there is chopsticks and these people are eating with chopsticks, see? Or, or if you want, right now, if you want to see that, just browse the net, then you can see that, net, in the net. Okay. So these are usually oh. shoes. One shoe you cannot use now. Suppose you put one shoe, then what will happen? There will be Embarrassed, then you will be walking like this, right? <laughs> that is not true. So, slump, but same way with one slippers. We are using only one slipper, one slipper like that way, if you are looking at it like that, then also you will be moving. Some, some people will think that you are dancing in the street, yes. So, slippers, gloves, with one glove you cannot do anything. I can do it. You will always both hands. So, you use both the, uh, the gloves, yes. Then, top six, that's, uh, for the time being, we don't much concern about top six because we are not using it. Understand that? That's okay. So, here yeah, remember, there are some words, names of things, means nouns. Some nouns. Nouns means names of things. There are some nouns. What happened? What should you do? They are always plural, like spectacles. This one. Scissors, binoculars, googles, pliers, jeans, trousers, shorts, leggings, understand that? Tights, sometimes we use tights now. Tights, leggings and tights. Tights are used by boys and leggings are used by girls, right? Yes, here. You can also use, boys can use leggings. If you can manage to get into that, it's okay. Eh? For the, and tights also. It's very difficult to get into that. You need somebody's help. You have to sit in on a stool or something like that. Then pull it up. And by some day, some day you may fall down. Another person has to stand behind you and hold you like this. Because you will be moving like this. No? <laughs> that is we <laughs> that will be very difficult. And in case if you fall, it will be a great fall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall, something like that. It will be, isn't it? So be careful when you are using tights and also leggings. Then trousers, shorts, of course, we use that. Then these towns, shoes, gloves, slippers, chopsticks, they are it's better to use. If you want to use it as single, you do it. Otherwise, better to use it. The standard form of using this is cool. Okay. Now, suppose you want to say, this now I told you tomorrow there will be a test. In the test, Singular will be given to you and then you have to do the plural, make them make it plural and plurals will be given to you and then you will have to make it singular. In that case, suppose you are given spectacles, what will you do? Very easy. 
You just tell him before that, a pair of, a pair of, a pair of such spectacles, singular, a pair of scissors, singular, pair means two, so because you are saying that are two, so a pair of binoculars, singular, a pair of googles, singular, a pair of pliers, singular, a pair of pipes, singular, a pair of jeans, singular, Pair of pair of uh, trousers, singular. Pair of shorts, singular. A pair of leggings, singular. A pair of shoes, singular. A, 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 pair, a pair of gloves, singular. And slippers and shorts. So all what you have to do is just write before this pronoun a pair of. Then they becomes they become singular. Is that what you think? Yes. I hope you know how to put these things because. These are very, very simple things for people like you because you are very intelligent students. Hmm? Clever like that. I am very fortunate and lucky that I got <coughs> such a pair of, such a, such a class of good students. Okay. Is that clear? Everything is clear you know? You know what a noun is? Name of anything. The world is full of nouns, only nouns. Anything in this world is called by a name, then that means it is a noun. Second point to remember is nouns have proper nouns and common nouns. Proper nouns mean names of particular persons, particular buildings, special names like that. When we say about Taj Mahal, Great Wall of China. Alepi, Kotem, towns, names of town, Madhya Pradesh, Kashmir, Bihar, Karnataka, Chennai, Mumbai, all these are proper nouns. Because they are special nouns. One of its kind. There is no other Mumbai in this world. There is no other New York in this world. There is no other Kotem in this world. Like that you are names. Names of person. Tom, Jones, Gautam, Mini. Maria, so all these are proper nouns. Understand? Then days of the week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, because there is only one Monday. You don't have an American Monday and Indian Monday, no. Monday is Monday. Like the names of the months of the year, June, July, August. I think that is clear to you. Then we found that in nouns, we can divide the nouns into two. Again, that is countable and uncountable. Common nouns, all these other things are common nouns. Court, chair, table, monkey, a cat, dog, tiger, lion, man, woman, or man, woman, aunt, uncle, these are all common nouns. Common to many. This is common to many in these words. Forest, then uh, planets. So these are all common to others. Lower seas, lower windows, computers, yes. Now, uh, another aspect of noun we saw is that some are countable, some are uncountable. Very simple, you remember like this, water is uncountable. But biscuit it is countable. Milk, uncountable. But, I have but you have got uh, cookies, no? that is countable. Like that we can remember, it's very simple, isn't it? And now we saw the polars. How to make polars? What is simple or what is simple? How to make comes later. Singular is one. Polar means one plus one or any number. Like for example, you have many said that the window means only one. Windows, any number of windows. I think it's clear to you, no? Eh? Okay. Fine, very fine. Now we came to you know about something else that is there are some nouns only used in plural, but you can make them singular by saying, by adding a pair of a pair of spectacles. A pair of scissors. Okay. Now you can see which game you like most. Which game you like most? This is your favorite game. I know. Without my without anybody feeling. Cricket. C R I C K E T. What about your game? Which game you like most? Football. Oh, I like football. Why do you like football? Because you can run, huh? Eh? Yes. Football. You? You want uh, basketball? Uh -huh. Different people have done. Are you playing basketball? 
Here, in the school. Do you have, do you have a cock in the school? Yes, we have got five cocks. It's a big school, you know. Yes, with lots of football fields and basketball courts and things like that. So, you can see this. How is the Ah, yes. How is How many persons play this? Chess, you know, chess is another game. Chess, you know. That's an indoor game. Means you sit inside and then play. Indoor games. Means sit in, inside or in, in corner of a room or something. Like chess. How many persons are required for playing chess? How many? Two. Not more than two. Only one. One here. And then this is the chessboard. And then we will sit here. Only two. Chessboard. I just. Yes. This is the chess board. So one person will sit here, another person will sit here. And they play. Only two persons play chess. But two persons are enough for playing chess. But what about cricket? Oh no, it's not possible. Two, now again two persons play. You can practice. You can throw a ball at one person and another person can bat like this. That can be done. But playing is not possible. So here what we have got a group. Group, group of people. One group is led by Sachin Tendulkar, the god of cricket, you say. See? Another group is led by Virat Kohli. <laughs> There are great names in cricket. Or Saurav Gambli. You know these names, I think. Yeah. So, one group is led by Tendulkar. Then will come. Another group is led by who? Ganguly. Listen to this. Savajav Ganguly. Or even the Koli. Vidat Koli. Then we Vidat Koli. Vidat Koli. Yes, okay. Now these leaders, they are called the You don't say leaders of the in playing situation, you say captains. Captains. Captain. Head of a group. When they are playing, it's called captain. So, team A. Call it team A. Who is the captain? Tendul Cup. And who is the captain in your team B? Team B. We are the Koi. Is it? Yes. So then what do we say? I have already given you that name. What do you call that group? Who is led by a leader called the captain? He calls team. 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 Is it? So you can say, Tendulkar is the captain of a team. And then Virat Kohli is the captain of B team. See that? So this word here, team, is a, another very interesting thing now. When you say team, what comes to your mind is not one or two, but a group, a collection. There is a collection, a collection. See, a group. Now you see, I have with me, I always carry this. These are my keys. I will not keep it anywhere else. Always in my pocket because I am afraid of thieves. If they get hold of this, they will open my house and carry away all the, what I must say, valuables. So like the, like Alibaba and his 40 thieves. They will come and open and take it away. See? Then I will be a very poor man. Tomorrow I won't have anything to eat, anything to put on, any dress, something of that sort. Understand? Now, look at this. If I say this is only this much, suppose I have only this. Only one. The other things, can you see? <laughs> no, I can't. So this. This is a key. Isn't it? This is a key. Suppose this one. See this sound. <laughs> It's very interesting. It is like, no, no, the bell has not gone. This is the thinking of this keys. You call this a group of keys. 
group of keys. But it has got another name. But it is a group of keys, group of players. Everything is group. Then you see a group of fish swimming together. Sunrays go, you go. On a very clear day, you look into the waters of the lake. Then you will say some <coughs> you look you will see some fish they swim together like this. Together. So that the fisherman is very easy for him to catch it. If he has got a net, very easy. Yeah. The fish, they are foolish people, you know. <laughs> That's why they are going together like that. Either one after another come, then comes then the fisherman will be very difficult for him to catch. But these people are innocent. The fish they are very innocent. You know? And they may be afraid of some enemies that may be why they are going together in a group. See? That is. So now three groups we are saying. One group is players. And you call them by a group name. That is team. Another one I showed you, this, this, this is my captain, they are not playing, they are dead, <laughs> they are not living. So you call them, you call it a bunch, 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 not lunch, but bunch, bunch, bunch. So, so if I say, in English, if I to say this, I will say it's a bunch of keys, a bunch of keys. A bunch, a bunch of keys, like football, you know, captain and team, basketball, captain and team. That's a team. Means a group of people playing a game. That's a team. Or a group of people doing anything together, you can say team. A team of workers, you can say. The cleaning on a one such part of the day. What do you do? You go in groups. You can say team. You will have a captain there. Yes. So a bunch of keys. A bunch of keys. A bunch of keys. You say. That. Yes. You know what I say? We will not say a group of keys. For each thing there is a, some should be, there should be some difference. And also it should look good. It should sound good and also look good. No? So that's why we said bunch of keys. What about team? It's a team of players. Team of players. Yes. Now another one I told you about fish, fish swimming together there. Together swimming. So what do you do? You call them and the name is very interesting. S H O A L. A shawl of fish. Shawl of fish. A shawl of fish. You don't say group of fish. It's understood it's group, but we call it by a standard name. Like a shawl of fish. Understand that? Yes. yes. Now you have seen, no? You have seen. Huge buildings, multi storied, touching the sky, such where people live. They live. Some, a, a, a family will be living in a three room something. What do you call flat? You know, flat. Flat. They are called flat. See? Flat. So, you can see in the cities when you go. There are many flats here. We have got one flat here touching the sky. Another flat is on the five or six flats together in a place you call. Again, that's a group. You call it a block of a block of flats. You need not say one flat, two flat, three flat, four flat like that. Oh, here you have got a block of flats. Go to Bangalore and Chennai and why you go to a small town like this? Of course now it has become international town like Kotem or Cochin. You will find now huge buildings like this. They look like as if you are 
There are the matchboxes. When you look from a far away place, when you go near, you will find that there is all facilities, all the necessary things required for a house. There are houses, one building. Maybe in a flat you will find 200, 500, 700, 2000 flats. Understand? So there is a, a block of flats. You say like that. Now we are seeing team of players, bunch of keys, shore of fish, block of flats. Then we have got huh? simple things like that. You see, you have, you have come across the ship. Ships. So you have seen ships here. There are warships going from Navy's warships you are saying, going to fight a battle, it's a famous battle in which Napoleon was defeated, Battle of Waterloo. So this group of ships, warships, under one commander, it has a name called Fleet. Fleet of ships, a group of ships moving together towards a place, commanded by commanded by one officer, naval officer of course, is that is called the fleet of ships. Now what are these? Team, bunch of shawl, block, fleet of ships. These are called the collective names. Collective. Collective nouns. Now we will not say names. Why? Because you know, instead of nouns, now you can you know to say. What will you say? You will say not names but nouns. My father is a noun. I am a noun. You are. She is a noun. He is a noun. Yeah, I, I hope you got the point. Yes. So there you are. Bunch of keys. Fleet of ships, and then we have got here you come across you now sheep, sheep moving together. Have you seen sheep grazing, eating grass, and moving in a group like this? Not one by one, of course. So then, same kind. So you, there is a collective name for that, collective noun for that, a a flock. A flock of sheep. As a, a flock of sheep. You cannot say team of sheep because they are not playing in game. <laughs> they are falling together. They may be talking, they may be singing, they just as we are going for we are going for a picnic and so on, you so move in groups. So a flock of sheep. Look at that. Then we have got, you know, cattle moving around your you know, buffaloes, cows. Cattle. Yes. For that there is a there is a word of cattle. Herd of cattle. Herd. 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 Herd of cattle. We don't say group of cattle. That is the fun of English. That's the beauty of English. We can say like a group of sheep, a group of cattle, a group of ships, a group of flags, a group of fish, a group of keys, a group of players. Everything looks group, 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 a group, B group, like that. Somebody, somebody will ask, is it bread group? <laughs> so, it's not like that. So you have got separate words for these things. And that is the thing. You have seen, huh? Alibaba and 40 thieves. So how do they go? They don't go one by one, but they go in a group. Understand? That? Why? What? What are they? What? Are, what is their intention? Why are they going? Is it to help somebody? No. Are they taking medicine to the battlefield? No. So their intention is to do something criminal, robbery, stealing. Taking away somebody's property. So that you find what is called them. Their, their main business is doing some something harmful to the others. They are robbers.
So how do you say? Can you say a, a, a robbers, robbers? Can you say that they are a group of robbers? No, you call them by another name. Yes. Gang, gang, a gang. This happens with doing in the school and colleges. A gang of students. They will move and do criminal activities. Gang. So they remove somebody's poster, they throw stones at the buses. That is for agitation, Gulab Sandhava. <laughs> and they are doing Gulab Sandhava, then they will be doing all these things. Maybe it may be for something good, some good cause that we do not know. But any activity that is criminal in nature, if we are grouping together to do, then you will be called a, what will you, why do you be called gang? So what are these, a flock, herd, gang, Fleet, block, shawl, bunch, team, they are collective numbers. They are collective numbers. Understand that? Isn't it? Yes. Then you have see you have come across words like litter. Not one litter, two litter. How you how you come across a litter? A litter of you know the young ones of an animal, young ones, like Yang, have you seen young lion? Very nice man, very beautiful. Yes. You can take it in the hands, kiss it, but it will not be really young. Have you seen young ones of the tiger? Same thing. Looks like cat. This young ones of an animal, you call, there's a name for that, cubs. C U B S, cub, cub. So a litter of cubs is here. Sometimes, sometimes a lion will have two or three young ones. Or a tiger will have three or four young ones. So you together you don't say a group of cubs. What do you say? What do you say? You say litter. L I T T E R. There are people who collect stamps. They have got a collection of stamps. What do you say? You will Using this collective nouns, you will say set of set of stamps. You don't say you will not say that. Eh? It is a group of stamps. I can you say it like that? It's not possible. Sometimes you yeah, are clear about all these things. Yes, in a group of players under a captain, you know team. This can happen to anything. For example, a team moving to clean the bus stand. A team going to do some work for a poor man. A team going to help a village. See, like at the party, you know, we are going there. Yes, team, bunch. Bunch not only keys, but you have said bunch of grapes. Anything, many looking like one. Bunch, a bunch. Shawl of fish. Yes. Fish. Moving together in water, sure. Block of flies. Any flies. Massive buildings. Huge buildings. One after another. Fleet of ships. The fleet. Then Nelson's fleet. This one. Means warships. Not any ship. Warships moving together. A fleet. Under one. Remember the famous fleet, American fleet. Seventh fleet. So there is a famous group of warships called the Seventh Fleet. If anything goes wrong anywhere in the world, the Seventh Fleet will move forward. And they will anger the frustration themselves there. Then the enemy country will be a fight. They will be frightened. So if they want to fight, they will stop fighting. Yes. Fleet of ships. Flock of sheep. Flock means same kind flock of sheep. There were flock of men, you know, same kind, same, same kind of so, I mean, herd of cattle. Same kind of cattle grazing. Then it becomes herd. Gang of robbers. Remember, Alibaba and his 40 thieves, gang, a gang is going. So, you know, gang of robbers fighting. They are horseback and then they will enter into villages and they set fire to buildings, to houses, 
we kind of give away all the valuable things, isn't it? Come back and then they enjoy. That's it. Little of cups. Cup. Cup means any one of an animal. Cup. Understand? Little of cups. Of tiger. Of lion. Yes. Set of stamps. What are these? These are collective nouns. Collective nouns. Because they always bring before you a collection. Like audience. See, when you have audience, you need not say anything. Just the audience. Then there is a collection. One person cannot be an audience. There is no English word audience. It's <laughs> a singular like audience. That is like people, another collective, like people, no? Then you say people always use them plural. Yes. Because they are, they always, you crowd, crowd, a crowd of people, yes, crowd. A crowd of people, yes, I'm doing it here, crowd of people. What's a crowd? You all see, you know, sometimes in the accident, on the road, and some people will be coming, they say, now what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up. So then there will be, in five minutes time, there will be a huge, large collection of people. And you call them crowd. There is another one, it is not a very good one. Mob, 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 mob. Means also group of people, but they, the mob comes out for doing some, I must say that fighting or throwing, throwing stones, things like that. So mob, again, collection, collection. So these are all collective names. Collective names are collective nouns. Because now we know. We don't have names. When you started with the, our class, if you remember, we, we said, I told you know, we are going to play a game. A game with the nouns. Isn't it? Yes? Yes. Now you have seen honeybees. You have seen bees. Bees, honey bees. Have you ever gone near to that? You will find the number of them. They make a sound also. This is, if you go near them, if you are not careful about going near, then sometimes they will, they will sting you. Understand that? So, now what do you call that? You call Swarm of S W A R M. Swarm of. Swarm of bees. Why? It's a colony. Swarm means a colony. You have seen colony. It's a colony. It's large number of them together. Listen. Yes. Sometimes what happens, you know, not here, but in England and in European countries, they keep special breed of horses 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 you know horses special breed of horses you know for special purpose what is a special purpose of a horse racing you are seeing a racing horse race how we come across this horse race horse race what is horse race what is a race means running racing running like this. Isn't it? Hussein Bolt. Isn't it? He's a champion in race. Understand? So here, horse race. Some rich people, poor people cannot do this, rich people, they keep set of horses. Special purpose. One special purpose is racing. Such a group of horse, if you want to say, you don't say group of horses because there are other groups of horses also. But you say, stand, 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 stand of horses, stand. With special, special horses. And one special use of horses, they are bred well, they are given bath every day, there will be people to look after. For one horse, there will be four people to look after. That one horse. If you have got five horses, you will have twenty people to look after. Understand? So special care is given. 
because they are kept for special purposes. Doesn't it? So they are called a stack of courses. Stack of courses. Understand? And you have what, what is called a you have you have seen actors. Actors? You have seen actors, company of actors moving around. See, which is, which is the latest two box office hit films? Pulimari, there are this Bahubili, Bahubili. Now there are some actors in there. When they were shooting the film, they were moving together. Means the, the cooperation between them, they share their feelings, they come together to help each other. So you say such a group, actors. Remember? Group of actors, group, T R O U P E, a group of actors. Understand? You know why I am always closing this because it will, the ink will evaporate. I will not be able to write this way and it has become a habit for me. The other chalk and the blackboard, this must be problem. But here we have that problem. A group of actors, a group of actors. Understand? Yes. And then you have got a what is called the uh, musicians you know, musicians 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 you have heard you have 